Hello, everybody. How the hell you been? Finally, finally, finally got around to getting some work done on a saddle. And thought I'd show you some of the steps. I've got a bunch of other pieces already done. This is the last piece I needed to do. Um, and, and we're skiving. That's what we're doing right here. We're thinning that out. So it feathers down. I guess some people call it like that. I don't know. But, and this is neck leather, so you can see it's stretching. That's okay. What we're, what we're building is the ground seat which is the part you sit on in a saddle. Now, this was taught to me by an old guy, well, just by an older gentleman, I know. Uh, it's kind of, sort of, pretty damn close to the way I was doing it, but he showed me a few shortcuts, and I like them. So we're going to we're going to start doing them. Um, as you can see, I stretched that like that a little bit more than I wanted to, but oh well. Uh, what's going to end up happening is if I do this right. Here's the next piece. It's going to be kind of a shim for this. And I can tell already this here needs to come down. And then right here as well. And I apologize if my shoulder's in the way. I might have to cut this and uh, re skive it because it's a little bit bigger than the other side, long one. that right here see what I did I just kind of made that a little shorter not real pretty because it's got some jaggedy edges but that's okay now this is all just the beginning of the ground seat there's going to be some more to it Shortly, let's get this moved over here now, and I can show you how I'm gonna do this. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to do it now because all this stuff is too wet for glue, but I can kind of sort of lay everything in place for you, like I've done on this side. This one that's dry, that's what we call a stirrup plug, that's where you're your stirrup leathers are going to go right through there over the top of this here. Then we start with this one small piece here. We'll glue it right there. Then we'll come in with this second piece here and see how that curve right there is already following that curve of the, the gullet cut out right there. That one will go right there like that. See what that's doing yet? Can you see? Can you see? What that's doing is building this up. Again, like I said, I can't glue it yet. And I'm going to put tacks in it or nails in it, but not right now. Not till I get it uh, glued and stuff. See what I've done right there? Of course, probably not. 
there's that. And then we're gonna do the same thing back here. Again, gluing it and tacking it in place. Now, I'm gonna kinda sorta leave that there and I'll drop this camera or pick up the ca Oh, I know what else I needed to show you, but I don't have it with me. Uh, where is it? Hello, seats. Once all of them are tacked and glued into place like I want them, then I'm going to take this thing right here. This is a seat strainer. Then it will come about there and get tacked down. And then, of course, this piece needs to go under there like that. Of course, I just eyeballed it. I'm going to go ahead and sh 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 put a better eyeball on it and get it all centered and properly placed before I go to nailing on it and everything like that. But that there kind of gives you an idea. And then, of course, I'm gonna pull that seat strainer out of there now so you can kind of get a better idea because it's not ready. Ah. <laughs> well, what we're trying to do is, and there's a couple, two or three more pieces that'll go on top of all this, but what we're looking for is put that camera right there. For your butt bones or hip bones or pin bones or whatever you want to call them, for you to sit right here, not back here, like a lot of people do, but right here. That way you got room to go forward and backwards. And you're you're just that's where you want to be in a saddle. You don't want to be with your butt all the way up there. Uh Unless you're going 90 to nothing, then you're, then you're trying to catch up. So there's there's what we're working on here for a little bit. Uh, this is going to be a 16-inch seat wade with a flat plate rigging, 5-inch cannon. Uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do for it, but we'll see. Anyway, there it is. Toodaloo, buggeroos. Y'all go have a good day.